This is the most explosive new offense in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! You got most. It has explosive run plays. Run. Hard to stop pass plays. And one play touchdowns versus every single defense in the game. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. My New Orleans Saints and Buffalo Bills ebooks are definitely my favorite offenses, but in today's video, I'll be using a brand new playbook in the Pittsburgh Steelers offense as I'm trying to lab some new offenses for the upcoming Madden 24 season. So let me know in the comments section what playbook you guys would like to see me use next. But before we get into the video, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. I'm I'm also going to be using the Pittsburgh Steelers team today because they were easily the most requested team in the comments last week. So as always, please let me know in the comments section what team you guys want to see me use next as the Raiders, Bengals, Vikings, and Browns all have a lot of votes as well so far. For my depth chart, I usually like to use teams that have good quarterbacks, receivers, and cornerbacks on defense. And this team really doesn't have any of that. In fact, their offense might be the lowest rated offense in Madden 23. So I was really avoiding using them. Mostly because Kenny Pickett is a lowly rated rookie quarterback. You suck! But you guys kept spamming me with requests about it, so this is the team I'm going to use. Even if I take an L because of it. For my depth chart, the only real adjustment that I made was to move rookie receiver Calvin Austin up to wide receiver 2 since he has a 95 speed, as that will make him the best receiver for this offense. The new offense that I'll be using today is out of the gun trio, and like always, this is a 5 play scheme with a 1 play touchdown versus every defense in the game. I plan on having a full practice mode style breakdown of this offense on my Patreon, Join Now Community tab, and eventually my second channel as well. So I will have links in the description for all those if you guys want to see more. The audible plays are going to be the PA Deep Cross, which is a one-play touchdown against a lot of different man coverages like Cover 0 and Cover 1. I keep the inside zone as my only run play, although there are several good options when it comes to running the ball that I will go over in a minute. The verticals is my third play. This can also be a big play against Cover 1 Man, and the Steeler Dig is the star of the show, as this play can score against just about every single defense in the game with the right setup. The fifth play can change, but I mostly like to use the halfback counter, as counter plays from gun formations are usually pretty effective, as they are rare, and your opponents don't usually see them coming. On the first play, I essentially burn it down since the play clock forced me to run a play quickly with no time to make a read. But on the second play, I used the verticals play as it is one of the best dink and dunk plays in this offense. The running back route especially really gets open against just about any defense in the game, man or zone, as I almost get the first down before picking it up with the inside zone, which I will audible to anytime I see a light box. I do this on the next play as well. If I see space to the inside, I will take it, but I will usually also look to bounce it outside and run behind my my receivers if it's not there, especially against man coverages. But ultimately, these plays are just accept the one play touchdowns. On the first few plays, I see that he is running cover two zone and cover four, and this setup works against both. It looks like he's in cover two zone once again, which is a defense that I have run into a lot online lately for some reason. So I switch over to the Steeler dig, put the B route on a fade, and motion across the X route. Break yourself, fool! You got most. On defense, I start the drive off well, not allowing a single yard in the first three plays. And it feels like this is going to be a blowout before he goes for it on fourth and ten and beats me with a simple out route to get the first down and then some. Back on offense, he switches over to cover one man at the last second, so I have to run with the quarterback. I plan to set up a one-play touchdown for this defense as well, but I start running the ball first to bring more attention away from the deep throws and bring the safety down into the box more. To set this up against cover one man, I switch to the PA deep cross play, put the B route on a fade or a streak, and motion across the X route for a slanting check down the opposite direction. But I get some weird animation where everyone runs into each other. What? So I don't get the touchdown, but I still get a big play. When running the ball, you still want to make this motion from time to time, just so it's not a tell when you decide to do it during passing plays. On third and eight, I spread him out, giving him a new look where I motion out the running back and put him on a slant. But everything else is basically the same, as I look for that deep crosser one more time. Break yourself, fool! 
On defense, I see a lot of people running cover two zone like it's making a comeback. So I call that play myself, make a few adjustments before dropping down on a dragging tight end. Got him! And I get the ball right back on the very next play. I get tackled in the red zone, and this is where the drive stalls, though, as we get back-to-back -back pressure on the next two plays with Vaughn Miller getting the instant sack. Woo! So I take the field goal to take a two-score lead. On defense, I'm trying to use the Steelers to their strength with a 4-3 blitz, and we are getting pressure, but he keeps hitting me with that same out route, and he keeps getting outside of every defense I call, before hitting a corner route on the next play to go down the field in just two plays. I switch over to my cover two man defense on the next play, and we finally get a sack. Sit your ass down! I recently put out an updated video on how to run this defense, so I will have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video, so stick around for that if you want to learn more about it. As we get the stop, forcing him to make a field goal as well to end the half. He gets the ball in the second half, and I try to help out in coverage with my user, but I accidentally helped the tight end get wide open on a simple streak to let my opponent tie the game up on the second play of the half. Are you f***ing retarded or something? That ain't f***ing right. I start the next drive out by running the ball before I decide to use a very hard to stop concept that I put out earlier in the year from the PA deep cross. All you have to do is streak the tight end, put the wire out on a drag for a check down, and motion slant the X route one more time, and pretty much all three of these options should get open. I bullet pass, but it looks like Kenny Pickett lobbed it, as this dude has a total noodle arm. He is still in cover two man, so I go back to the steel dig play one more time, make that same motion so that he thinks I'm still using that motion slant first, and then fade the B route one more time. Break yourself, fool! Now up a score, he starts to use the same play over and over again with a deep middle crosser and a deep in route that both get open. So basically, he just throws to whichever one I don't use her. I get him out of that play at some point before he goes right back to that out route, as it appears to beat everything except possibly cover two zone, before he switches over to the run to get closer before punching it in to tie it up. Now with the game tied at the start of the fourth quarter, I go back to that motion slant to start the drive as we are both running the same cover two man defense exclusively now. I try to take a shot on the next play. Nope. Before hitting a deep crosser to get into field goal range on the very next play after that. I try to run the ball to shorten the clock a little and we get our best run from the counter play all game to get under three minutes and now we are running clock as we hit the slant right over the middle to get back inside the red zone. From here we try to run again but he is on to that approach as he calls a timeout. So I switch over to the wheel route to the running back which was wide open but Kenny Pickett can't pass lead away enough while on the run and Najee Harris can't catch for shit for some reason. Now on third and 14, my cover two man setup is running all the routes, so I force it thinking that I can maybe adjust in the air. How about no? But instead I throw an interception that might cost me the game. As all my opponent needs now is a field goal to win, he starts by dinking and dunking before I get a big sack that gives me some hope before he gets it all back on the next play. Tyler Bass has a big foot, but he likely needs a little more. And what does he do on the next play? He goes right back to that out route. Oh, you mother... <laughs> okay. And now he's in field goal range for sure. I switch over to cover two to finally stop that, but all he does is throw the ball away so that he can kill clock as much as possible before taking the field goal attempt. I call a timeout to ice him, and for some reason, I'm not even sure why, I decide to come out in a punt return look, which is something that I do sometimes just to mess with my opponent to make them think that the field goal is too long and possibly get a return. But when I hear that it's only 54 yards... I thought to myself, I should have tried to block this instead. Back into the end zone in single safety. Well, I guess if this thing comes up short, he can field it and run it out. All right, here we go. And the ball hits the return man right in his hands without him even moving. No, does not have the leg. He'll run it out to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. There goes Davis. Oh, my God. Davis is going to run it all the way back. And since this is a field goal team, there isn't even anyone on the field fast enough to stop my return man as we walk it in for the game winning touchdown as time expires. So if that's that's the vid. If you guys want to so if that's that's the vid. Give this offense a try and let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more from the defense that I was using in today's video, I will have links of that popping up on screen. So just click links as I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.